You know, the last weekend of the month uh, was looking fantastic, but now we're gearing up for some stormy weather. It's just that out ahead of it, we've got a mild start in a lot of valleys, including Salt Lake, where it's 50 degrees. Cold in Park City at 28. Same thing in Vernal. You're starting out 37 in Green River. It's 43 right now in St. George. We've got fair skies across much of the state. A few clouds moving in, so we are going to have a, a beautiful sunrise coming up. Uh, West to southwesterly flow will keep it pretty mild today ahead of a storm over the Pacific Northwest. It'll move in later on. At ahead of that, the winds are going to be picking up, especially over northwest Utah and south central Utah, possibly gusting up above 50 miles per hour today, so that can make travel difficult. And then behind the front tomorrow, some strong northwest winds could be impacting uh, parts of eastern Utah, especially Castle Country. So, in addition to some rain and snow, that could be a factor for some of you. Now, at ahead of the approaching storm, we're still expecting a nice warm up today. We'll hit 55 in Salt Lake, which will put us several degrees above normal for this time of year. Low 40s in Park City, mid 60s in Moab. Same thing in St. George, you'll peak at 65. Partly cloudy in the south, in the north, starting out partly cloudy as the day progresses. Clouds increase, winds pick up, and by the afternoon, we'll have a chance of some valley rain and mountain snow showers developing. And later tonight into tomorrow, behind a strong cold front, uh, we'll get widespread snow, not just in the mountains, possibly in the valleys as well. In fact, by tomorrow evening, when things wind down, we could be looking at 8 to 16 inches in the northern mountains, more than that in the cottonwoods possibly close to two feet. A foot or two will be possible in the central mountains, about half that amount in the higher terrain of the south. We could get several inches in southwest Wyoming, as well as along the Wasatch back. And northern valleys, as well as through central and western Utah, we could get one to four inches. So hopefully you enjoyed that warm weather while you could. It's not gonna last much longer, even though today you'll peak at 65 in Salt, excuse me, St. George, but then by tomorrow you'll get the rain showers. It's a fast moving storm and behind it will dry out pretty quickly by the end of the week and as high pressure builds will start to warm up again. In fact, you'll make it into the mid 60s, but more wet weather settles in with a second storm coming in this weekend. Northern Utah will have some snow tomorrow in Salt Lake and only peak at 35 and even though it will dry out by Wednesday, morning temperatures by then plummet all the way down into the low 20s. But after that blast of wintry weather, second half of the week, it's going to feel comfortable warm up again before that next storm moves in and brings more rain and snow on Saturday and Sunday.